All right, I'm gonna try to make this quick, but I always say that and it never happens. Hi, this is Singing Again Sam. And I'm here to tell another real life story. This one is one that happened, oh my gosh, before probably most of you guys were born in, I wanna say 1997. Um, my friend, I'll just say Sarah. I don't think that'll somehow tarnish her anyway. My friend Sarah wanted me to go hang out with her and a bunch of her friends. Now, in high school, which is when this was, in 1996-97, I did not drink. I didn't do anything. I didn't smoke. Yeah, I may know. But I didn't smoke cigarettes or anything else. Um, I didn't drink. Everybody knew me as kind of like fun to hang out with at parties because I'm like, uh, I'm like, I'm like this without anything. Um, and so I went up with my friend Sarah and a bunch of her friends and, Ev and we went to like this lookout point in Halotus, Texas. And for you who don't know Texas that well, Halotus, Texas is like a suburb, like a country suburb of San Antonio. So it's just a little outside of San Antonio and um, there's a bunch of like places you can go where people aren't gonna see you hanging out because it's just like a hill and trees. So she wanted to go drink with a bunch of her friends. I didn't drink, I just wanted to hang out with my friend. So Oh my gosh, this is going on such a tangent. I told you guys, I, I gotta, I gotta like sync these videos into shorter compactedness. Anyway, so we go out, we're sitting on this lookout point, and we're literally sitting on like uh, a, not like a cliff. I wouldn't say it was that high up. I mean, it was pretty high up, but we were just like sitting on a ledge. <laughs> And they're all drinking and I'm not, I'm sober. Remember this, I am sober. All my other teenage friends are drinking around me and I'm sober. So they're all talking and drinking and I'm just kind of like, I'm a stargazer. So I was like looking at the stars and all of a sudden I notice <laughs> this, bright orb and again i have no idea what it was that's why i say it's ufo not because i'm saying it's an alien i'm saying it's an unidentified flying object and mind you people i live in a city that has about five military bases maybe so there is always a chance that i may have seen uh, a, an army, a military, a navy, a, a, a air force, anything kind of vehicle that was maybe doing a um, what do they call those? A uh, I, I'm not a military person, obviously. In, in, in like a trial run, there we go. That works. Anyway, so unlike now. I didn't drink, I didn't smoke, nothing. I was a straight age, straight age, straight edge kid. And so I'm sitting there with them on the edge of this mini cliff. And all of a sudden I see this orb. And it's not like it's an orb orb. It's like I can see like this black circle with a like blinking dot in the middle and it comes down in, into the screen uh, into the screen into the, the like star like into the sky where i'm looking at the stars it comes down and then there's this 
it literally goes like in two seconds from one part of the sky back to where it was like almost exactly back where it was to the other part of the sky and back where it was and i was like hey did you guys see that and they were like what are you talking about man and i was like the only sober person there and i said like you guys didn't and then it was still there. I was like, it's right there. Like, look, it's right there. Because it's it was staying in that middle spot where it had first originally landed in the sky. I don't know if that means it landed, but hovered. Um, and then I was like, look, it's right there. All of a sudden it just went like out in the sky. I, I don't know how any engineered vehicle could move that quickly as it did but um it did from my sober point of view granted i may not be sober right now but <laughs> when that happened i was completely i was a straight edge kid uh, um, yeah i was completely sober and no one saw it because everybody else was drinking. But to this day, I mean, I was just like, what was that? I'm telling you right now, I live in a military town. Like, I live in a town that has, like, I don't know, five or six military bases. So, there is a very, very good chance that maybe I saw someone just like testing out their stuff their military stuff otherwise i have no idea what i saw i mean it was just so weird it was so weird seeing it move so fast like it literally went boosh boop boop and then hung out for a minute and then when i was like hey do you guys see that it was like whoosh I'm not saying like heard me say do you do you see that but it was still weird so that is my experience with a ufo but as i've said many times i don't know if it was an a alien it may have just been a military vehicle aeronautic vehicle who knows but it was weird and it was ultra weird because I'm with a bunch of inebriated people and they were just like, I don't know what you're talking about. And I'm like, right there, just look, just look right there. It's right there. Nope. So this is Singing Again Sam. Thank you for joining me for one of my actual true stories, which evidently is becoming a theme here. But uh, I do have these weird true stories of things that happened to me. And this is one of them. And I'm not trying to sensationalize it. Like I said, it could have been anything. Not necessarily an alien. So don't think I'm trying to do that to you guys, people. I don't want to be those thumbnail people who leave like weird thumbnails. And that's not actually like the picture that pops up. Anyway. Um... So I'm here, I'm saying it again, Sam, and oh yeah, subscribe, like, join, all those good things, bloop, 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 please, and I will be doing singing tutorials eventually. Right now, I'm just in the mood to like rant about random things that happen to me, and if you appreciate it, great, if you don't, that's also awesome. Either way, give me a comment. Tell me what you like, what you don't. Always helps because I'm very, very new to this and I don't know what people want to see from me. I mean, my little brother said, y'all would only hear singing from me, but I don't really know until like I get like comments. I don't know. I mean, I guess 
since this one isn't running as long. Uh, yeah, I'm blind. So if you're wondering why I'm doing this, I'm trying to see. The minutes, I'll do a quick little excerpt of a song to see if you guys want to actually get tutorials from me. Busted a fat in Baton Rouge, waiting for a train. In just as faded as my jeans. Bobby thumbed the diesel down just before it rained. Rode it all the way to New Orleans. I pulled my harpoon and in my dirty red bandana. I was singing soft while Bobby sang the blues. When she'll wipe her slapping time, I was holding Bobby's hand in mine. We sang every song that driver knew. That's just my Janice impersonation, trust me. I can sing in many different ways. Like... Okay, one more thing, and then I'm done. Okay. Just to show you guys that I have a range. The neighbors aren't yelling at me singing. Heard a little noise. But anyway, like I said, I have a lot of different styles. That's why I'm a good voice coach. And not the best. And I'm, yeah, I'm worried about that. This one little long. It's driving me crazy. You see this? Anyway, um, so yes, I'm totally up for giving free voice lessons, different styles. This went on way longer than I meant it for to you. <laughs> so thank you for getting in there for those who did. And yeah, that's another one of my experiences. Have a good night.